When I started my career as a financial advisor, my branch manager, who technically didn't hire me, but the boss, she was the boss of the broker that did hire me, she didn't think I had what it took to make it. She didn't think that I was going to last as a financial advisor, and because of that, she didn't want to give me my own office, she didn't want to pay for my training, she didn't think that I had the mojo or whatever was needed to survive as a financial advisor. And if I would have allowed her negative mindset to infect me and my brain in the way that I think about myself, then I wouldn't be here today. And chances are your negative mindset could be the thing that is keeping you broke and costing you thousands if not millions of dollars if you don't watch out for it. I've read a ton of books, I've listened to a ton of YouTube videos, listened to a ton of podcasts that talk about the negative mindset and how it can impact you and how it can prevent you from achieving so much more success, so much more than you're capable of just because you don't allow your brain to go there. And earlier in my life when I wasn't exposed to what it meant to be wealthy and I wasn't around rich people and I wasn't around big thinkers, I wasn't aware that I actually had a negative mindset because I didn't know the difference between a negative mindset versus a growth mindset. But as I started listening to more podcasts, started watching videos and reading books like Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and just understanding what the negative mindset was and how it can impact you, I finally started recognizing that the only way that I was going to achieve success is if I truly believed that I could do it, that I could become a financial advisor, that I could start an online business, that I could become a millionaire, even though I didn't really know what that meant or how it was going to work out and I didn't have the exact roadmap and all the necessary steps to make it happen, but I had the belief that I could do it. And just having that belief is all I needed to start that journey to become wealthy, to hack my wealth, to achieve financial freedom. But I recognize that it's hard. It's hard to escape the negative mindset, especially if you don't know that you're stuck right in the middle of it. But if you don't believe that you can achieve it, it's never going to get done. But what also holds us back is that we let others dictate what we think, what we believe about ourselves. For example, my old branch manager, she's like she truly believed that I wasn't going to make it. She didn't think I was going to make it a year yet alone over 15 years as being a financial advisor and being recognized by CNBC and Investopedia and all these other major platforms. Like she didn't even think I was gonna make it out of the first year, but yet here I am. And what can I say? What? <laughs> Look at me now, right? You've got to believe in yourself. If you are letting others thoughts and beliefs about you. And maybe it's justified. Maybe you've made some stupid mistakes in your past and they always wanna bring up all the negative things, all the things in your life that didn't work out. So what? Let them have that. You've got to drop the negativity and focus on the growth. You gotta focus on the things that you can do today. What is one thing, just one thing that you can do today that's going to impact your future for years, if not decades down the road. It's about making that one choice today. Drop the negativity, focus on growth and how you can improve each and every day to have that bigger future. You know, for me personally, all that negativity in the past, like that was my fuel, like that was my motivation to show them and to show me that I can do it. You wanna tell me that I can't do something. You wanna tell me that you don't think I'm going to make it. Well, I'm going to show you that I can and I will. And I'm going to do whatever it takes to make it happen. And that is what a growth mindset looks like. And that is the complete opposite of a negative mindset. Believing in yourself, surrounding yourself with people that have achieved it or want to achieve it. That they don't surround themselves with negativity, they focus and surround themselves with people that want to be better, that want to do better. Is your negative mindset costing you thousands if not millions of dollars? Do you need to get your mind right and start focusing on what you can do today to impact your future? 
If that is you, let me know in the comments below. What are you working on right now? How are you improving yourself and making yourself better, dropping the negativity and focusing on the growth? Let me know in the comments below. All right, y'all, hope you enjoyed this video. Until the next time, this is Jeff Rose reminding you that it's your money, it's your life, and all you can make it awesome.